So welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Luna, and welcome to Feminine Medicine, Shamanism, and Reclaiming Your Voice today. We're going to um, talk a little bit about feminine medicine and the shamanic medicine that it is and what it's all about, and actually dive into uh, some of the different exercises or I wouldn't call them exercises, they're more like embodied processes that we do with our voice. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the different um, aspects of feminine spirituality as a whole, and then feminine medicine and the distinctions. And, um, and then also go over what is included in the seven week program so that we can have an idea and a taste of what those things are. So let's start by um, creating sacred space and, um, you know, to create a sacred container. The ritual safety is really important. So I'm going to start with a prayer and invocation and clearing our space. And then we'll go from there. Yeah. So. Join me in your own intentions and word intentions as uh, as we do this. <clears throat> Dear Mother, I bow my head, heart, and womb to you, for you are the creatrix and the creation. From your womb, the 10,000 things are born. I ask that you bring us close Awaken us and keep us in your flow of divine grace. Hold us in your ecstatic presence where all veils are dissolved, leaving only your whispering truth as our teacher. Mm. And so it is. Yeah. And then I'm going to walk you through a little bit of a grounding and a little bit of calling in our guides and it's kind of a part two of setting this sacred container and and the protections that that we like to set when we do any of this work. Hmm. So let yourself just connect with your body, connect with your breath just for a couple of seconds, feeling your root, your womb space your womb, your sacral womb, your lower abdomen, and your root going into the earth, connecting with the earth, and feeling the support underneath you of the earth. It's like really feeling that gravity as love, right? It's like she's holding us close to her. I just take a couple of deep breaths there. Just allowing yourself to really ground so that we can feel that stability through our bodies. And then allowing yourself and calling in, we're going to invite in the feminine wisdom keepers, which are all of the uh, different deities that we might have worked with and different different spiritual paths um, like Inanna and Kali and Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary and, you know, whomever you feel connected with and just inviting their presence here with us today, these feminine wisdom keepers of all lineages. And just take a minute to feel their presence around you. And then as you're doing that, letting yourself also invite the ancient ancestral mothers 
These are the mothers that are in our lineage that go way back in time where they're healed and they're well and they're part of our lineage and they're the medicine women. They're the feminine wisdom keepers. They're the divinators, the oracles, the healers. And so we have all come from these women and they're in our lineage. And so inviting the ancient ancestral mothers as our guides all around us, ones that are well and in the light, taking a minute to feel their presence. And then inviting, if you if you know who this is, uh, your your main helping spirit, your main helping spirit, inviting them into the space as well. We usually have a main helping spirit. We may or may not know who they are. And then, of course, we have many others that come in and out of our lives, depending on what we're going through. So inviting our main healing spirit, even if we don't know who they are. Breathing, feeling the presence all around us of all the light, of all the love, of all of these guides that are here on the on the divine dimension here for us. And then asking them to clear our field of anything that's not needed as we do this work, to clear our field completely of thoughts, energies, entities, anything that's not needed in our field, around three to five feet are all around us. Letting our field clear. And taking a minute or two to ask them to create a layer of protection all around us, a womb of light, protective light and love all around us, three to five feet away from our physical body and a sphere in front of us, behind us to the right, to the left, below us and above us, where we can feel protected and asking them to hold that in place for us. So we're not doing it, but we're allowing our guides to help and to hold this protection in place. Yeah. Yeah, and then just take a deep breath here and just feel into your body a little bit. And as an offering to the Great Mother and to our guides and all of the assistants, I'm going to do a medicine song. And as I'm doing this for just a couple of minutes, I just want you to feel, feel what's happening within you, your body. Try to allow yourself to move from your head more into from your thoughts and, you know, maybe even your own agenda or your to do list or all those things and just come into presence. Just come into feeling what what's happening in your body. 
without any judgment, without any agendas, just being present, just noticing emotionally what's moving, any sensations, any even any thoughts or epiphanies that might come up. Yeah, just noticing, just being present to this experience. Just breathing. Just being with the silence for a few seconds. Hmm. Beautiful. So um, my name is Dr. Luna, Lenore Murciano Luna, and I am the founder of Conscious Feminine Medicine. And um, in this work, which is feminine medicine, shamanism, and reclaim your voice, uh, which is the foundation of the uh, Feminine Medicine Woman program, the practitioner program. Uh, that we do annually, the 13-month program for healers, for women that want to step into their healership and um, reclaim their voice and also reclaim the um, medicine of the feminine that's been lost in our world. Um, but we're bringing it back on. And um, feminine medicine is really... Um, a, I'm going to read this a little bit so that way I get these all these different pieces in here. But it's really a sacred shamanic path of the feminine that caused us to reclaim the deep feminine wisdom within that's rooted in the Great Mother. It weaves together the forgotten mysteries, the lunar medicine, uh, the womb wisdom, the psycho-spiritual healing and the trauma healing, guiding us to reconnect with the primal, the primordial mother and the feminine essence, which, which is really love, which is really um, the essence of love that, that all of creation is, is rooted in. This path teaches us to walk in harmony with all beings and honoring the sacred web of life while embracing our own soul's true essence. It's really a soul initiation so that we can heal the aspects of us that, that 
have been disconnected from the mother, um, from our own feminine spirituality, and um, allow us to connect to those non-dual states, to that oneness, to that essence that's living right here within us, and not just connect, but also access, which brings us safety, which brings us, grounds us into um, the spiritual within the physical body and the physical, all of physicality, all of creation. We all hold, it's the spirit of the essence is within all of creation and within us, of course. And then bring it through and express that and all of the different ways that's unique to us, each one of us. And the expression is a really important piece because it's not just about us sitting in the divine experience in these ecstatic states, you know, as we are, as we open and as we clear the trauma and things like that, but it's more about yes accessing those states but at the same time allowing ourselves to express express our truth express the love the compassion that's in our heart express our voice in all of these different ways um extra express our soul qualities like our ability to see not just with our physical eyes but to see with all of the senses and see the the magic and the miracle that's you know in these divine states our ability to heal as the healer our ability to create as that you know creatrix mother um our ability to connect to the wisdom and express that wisdom so these are all different aspects of our feminine soul and so uh, the path the feminine medicine path is about acknowledging and connecting and accessing and then how do we want to express that through ourselves right how do we express more and more and more love in all of these different ways that for each person is unique you know for each person has a very unique way to express the essence that's coming through them so um other aspects of feminine medicine, let's see, is also about as as we're doing that kind of expression, we're also coming into our feminine sovereignty, coming into ourselves. It's like connecting or bridging or merging our divine self with our human self, right? And rooting in that. So what does that do? So other than our feeling fully expressed or or greater expression of who we are it also allows our physical body to come into greater harmony so it allows the healing to happen in our bodies it allows us to to heal not just physically but also psychologically a lot of the wounding that's happened um, because we haven't, we've been so disconnected from the mother and from the mother essence, uh, you know, all of the, the different traumas that women in the last 5,000 years have experienced because of this disconnection of who we are and our gender, even though the feminine is in women and men, we each carry the feminine and the masculine as different du dualities but repressing the feminine to the degree that we've repressed it in many ways you know is been damaging to the whole world we don't see the love we don't see the compassion you know that's not what our general patriarchal world is leading with you know they're not leading with the heart and so opening up to these levels allows us to come into that feminine sovereignty and to heal and and this is not something that is outside of us. It's really within. The path is really about remembering. Remembering because it's in our DNA. It's who we are, right? It's just kind of been covered up for survival. It's been, you know, 
it's been a lot of the trauma has been inherited because we are in this patriarchal world it doesn't value the feminine values so that's just a little snippet about feminine medicine um i want to read i want to read a poem that uh from one of from one of one of the one of my books this is the this one's actually going to be revised but this is one of the poem poetry books that has uh the paintings also in it the feminine art but i want to read this and i just want to take a minute um again we're going to kind of take these little breaks to really feel and be present with because this is part of this embodied process this is part of the feminine is to awaken and to listen to what's happening what's happening in my body what's happening in this beautiful temple here that we each have um because that's that's our entryway that's our connection to our soul uh, in this in this plane that we're in right our bodies is our connection to our soul so let us um try to just listen to this process this poem sorry <laughs> and as i'm reading this allow yourself to just feel and to see what you know what's happening in your field what's happening in your thoughts what gets awakened what's happening the sensations in your body or emotionally and just be curious about that this one is called she is here she is here she is whispering in the ears of all of those that have been poised at the edge of her ocean awaiting this moment she is the flame that hides in every spiritual path lighting the way to the one that is in all the veils of patriarchal culture have kept you hidden and have destroyed your body and only only in our minds perhaps they felt that they could keep you repressed for long enough to be forgotten but you have been hiding in plain sight in the warm cup of tea in the mother's embrace in the stranger's smile Thousands of women have died in your name, voicing your wisdom and offering your unparalleled love. But we wait no longer. We must move through the collective feminine wounds and realize we are poised at the precipice, ready to break through the terror that has bound us. We dive into you and you empower us. We surrender the fear, the shame, the isolation, the abandonment, and the powerlessness, and all mental constructs of the past to you, and you empower us. We awaken to your joy, your power, your courage, and your wild ecstatic presence within us. It is time. The revolution of the feminine has begun. I can feel you coming through my heart through my soul and through my sacred body as i dive deeper and pledge my willingness you free me from the constraints of the past into the bliss of the present do we dare to listen and awaken to her magic she is listening waiting for you Hmm. And just taking a deep breath with that. Just looking for some of the controls here. Yeah, and so I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier. Um, the medicine women when we when we opened up to the ancient ancestral mothers um and i mentioned that we were all rooted in in the mothers that in these ancient mothers that were the medicine women 
that were the ones that um, were the healers and were connected and rooted in the Great Mother and in this primordial essence of the divine. And so they were the medicine women and the medicine women of today is, is what develops naturally from you know us embracing our own spirituality our own essence our own body wisdom and connecting with the essence within us and developing that allowing us to express through our voice and again it's not only us being you know the healers and the creativity and connecting to the wisdom but also speaking and rooting in our own personal expression of how that divine wants to come through us of how the great mother of how the essence wants to come through us and move us in different ways so we in many ways um, are the medicine women of today and can be if we allow ourselves to actually activate these qualities within us and to embrace feminine spirituality in all different ways not just the feminine medicine of course i'm speaking about this particular path but feminine spirituality as a whole is really a, is really connects us into that stream of consciousness of the feminine and of the mother and in many ways we are in our blood are already carrying we're already carrying that essence because it's in our DNA and it's in our ancestors and they're right here with us. And so in many ways, we already carry that, that blood and it's just about to connect and to access and to listen to that essence within us because it's already there so yes while there's a way that we can activate it and you know sometimes we need guidance in doing that in many ways it's really about turning within about disconnecting from the aspect of us that's always in our intellectual minds and um bringing our awareness down into our body into our heart into our womb space and allowing us to really live there really live there because that's where we start to receive the wisdom like the womb mysteries and we start to it's like unraveling and dismantling all of our thought forms and our trauma and the different woundings that we've had from being separated from this knowledge and from this wisdom and then allowing allowing these truths to start to arise within you and and their epiphanies and i'm sure all of you have had different epiphanies at different times doing different practices so this is living this is like living in ourselves this is living within us we in many ways we've inherited a lot of the wounding but we've also inherited as women we've inherited a lot of the wounding but we're also inherited all of the wisdom and it's just a matter of opening to that wisdom trusting that wisdom we've also been um, disconnected uh, but we've internalized a lot of the judgment on ourselves. We've internalized a lot of the, oh, how can we say, the judgment, also the shame and the fear from being in a patriarchal system that doesn't value the feminine qualities of caring, the feminine qualities of compassion, the feminine qualities of working and um, valuing our intuition on all levels, our different sensations, our different intuitive abilities, the different levels of gnosis, 
that we have as women, we have that organically. So let's do a little bit of a practice with um, sounding. And then I'll talk a little bit about voice and sounding and why that is really um, our greatest tool, why that's so important with the sounding. Uh, but before, I want you to do this little practice and engage and see how that feels for, for you. So, <clears throat> why don't you take a minute to just close your eyes and, you know, no one at least from this end, can hear you. <laughs> so feel free. We're going to sound and we're going to take you into a little meditative process. So just feel free to sound if you can. Hopefully you're in a space where you can just, you know, sound as much as you want um, without judging yourself, without restricting or screening yourself because um, that's kind of important. So <clears throat> we don't want to judge ourselves. We want to allow ourselves to be free with this. So let's just take a deep breath. And one of the practices of the womb practices that we work with in feminine medicine is about connecting and, and acknowledging the three wombs that we have. We have our head womb, we have our heart womb, heart and we have our sacral womb, which is in our lower abdomen, the womb that you're used to knowing. And this is, we're talking now energetic qualities that exist. So we have these three womb spaces and we're gonna sound into these three spaces, um, different sounds, and then we're gonna do something organic. So. I'll just walk you through it. And your job is to not just sound, but just to listen, to allow, to be present to whatever is moving through you, um, physically, with sensations, emotionally, even mentally. Sometimes thoughts just start to clear. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So let's take a deep breath. Hmm. And we're going to start with our head womb. I'm actually going to use our, my native drum for this. We're going to start with the head womb. So if you want to bring your hands up around your head or even in front of your eyes, both hands. While you're doing this, it allows you to go in a little bit deeper. And then we're going to do the sound of E. And we're just going to sound a few times into that whole space. And whatever the highest pitch that feels good for you.
down into our heart, our heart womb. We're going to sound the A in a lower, a little bit lower tone that feels natural for you. Saying, how does your body feel? How does your body feel in this moment? Yeah. Hmm. And just sustaining in that process, in that feel for a few minutes. Staying connected to whatever has opened up within you in this moment. We'll talk a little bit about her story and um, go a little bit into the voice medicine and the Trinity womb as well. So the problem the problem that we face today is that in the last 5,000 years, there's been this great severance um, from the ancient ancestral mothers and from the great mother and from the wisdom 
and from these abilities that are innate to us as women. The women that have come before us have had to shut down our magic and our and all of these extrasensory abilities, our intuition, our gnosis, our sacred power, this organic creative flow, our ability to heal, connection with the earth and with all of life, um, our ability to commune with the sacred power within us, which is part of our um, feminine sovereignty. Um, we've had to shut down our hearts and our emotional intelligence because it's also judged as weak and our ability to see in all of the different realms, our ability to commune and merge and our voice and our expression of, of all of this that we are, right? And, you know, for us, this is, this is the natural way of being. And yet we've kind of been indoctrinated to disconnect and shut all of that down for survival for survival so that we, you know, just like our ancestors have been um, persecuted and, uh, you know, in many ways tortured and executed for showing and displaying like the witch trials and religious trauma and the demonization of our sexuality and of our bodies and the judgments of our bodies and the shame and the blame that we've been carrying uh, culturally for the last 5,000 years. And so even though we may feel that that's not happening to us, in many ways it still is happening. We, you know, uh, the rights to our body and what we do with our body are being challenged as we speak. And all around the world, um, gender violence, violence against women is a thing. It's, and it's a very strong thing, and it's, and it's happening still, unfortunately. Um, and so in many ways, this has created an um, created a lot of trauma with, with who we are, what's okay to express, what's not okay to express. And it's creating a lot of fear and shame that we carry even if we feel that we've been liberated and are not experiencing it a lot of it is in our blood also this is part of what we've inherited also from our ancestors and the ones that are not healed the ones that are still suffering even though they've passed and so in many ways we are still carrying those wounds and that affects us it affects our health it affects our level of fulfillment and happiness it affects um how we express what we say what we don't say and many times we have these patterns of shame and uh blaming ourselves and judging ourselves that come through and that are that are or over or overly accommodating to others so that we stay safe and so the idea of actually breaking through and liberating and reclaiming our voice is really rooted in this concept of connecting with the great mother and awakening all of these powers these sacred powers that we have within us which are the seven seven um embodiments of our feminine soul that I, I went through earlier and it's a and the main way that it's done that uh, we move in this path is through our voice because our voice is one of the most powerful tools that we have to transform the voice is really the origin of manifestation in the universe sound sound is that vibrational frequency and it has the ability to not just um, transform, transmute denser 
patterns, denser thoughts, break through the thoughts in terms of the vibrational frequency, break through um, different stagnation in the body physically that has been created from these imbalances in our own patterns, in our own mindset, in our thinking, in our emotional patterns, right? The different aspects of the trauma that we've experienced. But it can also connect us with frequencies of those divine dimensions within us. So in many ways, it activates that divine dimension, those different aspects of our feminine soul that we were just talking about. It activates it. And simultaneously, it breaks down the places where we feel, uh, where we have these patterns, you know, these patterns that we've inherited, the shame, the fear, uh, the sadness, the grief. And while it is really important to grieve and to feel and to awaken our feeling body fully, because when we grieve and we allow some of that pain to be felt, uh, and we sound into it, we actually allow it to receive the love that it's yearning for, that you are yearning for, that we are yearning for, that that place within us is yearning for. And then it allows us to actually um, feel greater and greater levels of love within our own system, within our own body. So voice is used in many different ways throughout this path. It's used to connect with these um, divine dimensions within ourselves. It's used to break through patterns, you know, psycho-spiritual levels of trauma that we've inherited, the places where we feel shame, where we feel, you know, pain, where we feel um, fear, where we feel terror, where we feel sadness. It actually allows us to transform those into a, a harmonious state of love. Um, and the voice is also can be used as an offering to our guides and to the Great Mother so that we can be in harmony with all of the forces around us as well. And so voice medicine is really, really the kind of like the tool that brings us through all of these all of these different um, aspects of the feminine medicine we use voice medicine in the in the three wombs which we just kind of did a little bit of a, of a little bit of a taste of we use the voice medicine to connect with other and an experience, right? Because the feminine path is not just about a concept, but it's actually about feeling it. It's about feeling it, not just emotionally, but with our senses, with being able to experience the sensations, see the images, and it's like awakening all of those levels of our intuition. And so voice is one of those tools that can do that because voice is frequency, it's vibration. It's really everything. Um, and so it uh, allows us to, to do those practices with the different womb mysteries to connect with the lunar frequencies, which is another big part of the feminine medicine, to connect with the lunar frequencies and work also with the different phases of the moon and what's happening in our body during those phases. We also work a lot with the chakras, with the sounds and the different chakras and activating those. And so sound can do three things. We use it in three different ways. We use it to activate, right? So to activate those greater dimensions of, of the spiritual dimensions within us or different aspects and embodiment of our feminine soul. Um, the it can be used to for transformation or purification which is to break down the patterns of you know not feeling worthy enough or not feeling good enough or 
of shame or of self-blame or of self-judgment, all of those patterns that we've also inherited. And it can be used also for integration, integration of our divine self with our human self, integration and greater expression of those states coming through us. So those are the main three ways, more global, that we use sound with all of the different practices. Now, in terms of the Trinity womb that we just did, um, we have, a, let me see if I can actually show you a document. Oh, I want to show you this. A Trinity womb. And I can share that. Okay, so here you see the Trinity womb that we did a little bit of a practice with. Oops, I lost it. <laughs> I know you're seeing it, but let me get to that. Here it is. Okay, great. So um, the head womb is a lot of the space where we hold the thoughts, the beliefs, the creative imagination, and and our senses, right? And so our head womb, when we're when we do the sounding, it allows us to again activate, purify, or integrate, right? So if we're activating the essence, so that we can have thoughts that are rooted in our divine self versus just thoughts that are coming from the patterns and trauma of fear or survival right so our head womb is where that where that is taking place and how and what that's affecting what the sound is affecting and so the sound that we want to practice in that space one of them because there's always many different ways of doing um, the work but in feminine medicine we use the e the e activates the head womb we can also use the buzzing like the of the b Bzzz, and that feels more comfortable and you can play around with those and do the practice in this way the e and then for the middle is the heart womb which is where we activate all of the embodied feelings like really being present and really being able to feel the unconditional love and the compassion however if our heart womb is very protected or it's very um, guarded and we're holding a lot of pain and grief because we don't grieve because we um, screen our emotions and we don't you know feel the freedom or feel safe enough to actually express uh, emotionally a lot of the times then it's harder for us to actually feel um, the unconditional love and these other ecstatic states of our divine self because it's kind of uh, a little stagnated right it's a little full so we can't really feel much so moving into our heart doing the ah working with the ah sound allows us to again activate purify and integrate um and maybe and maybe you know if you haven't worked with this and there's and you're holding a lot or if something is really you know you're going through a challenging time in your life maybe the ah sound actually starts to 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 purify and to transform a lot and you start to really feel a lot of emotion there's not so much integration it's a process right sometimes it'll spend a lot more time just activating you know these higher states sometimes there's a lot to be purified and i will say that the different times of the cycles of the moon the different moon phases like in the dark moon 
um, and the full moon versus like the quarter moons, you will have different aspects, different parts of you, if I may, or different aspects, different aspects of which womb is being activated at different times of that cycle. So that's all part of working with the lunar mysteries and uh, the feminine wisdom. And so when you move down here to the lower, the lower, the sacral womb, which is in your lower abdomen, we can use the ooh, and that's where we can feel our creative wisdom, our essence, our spirit, and we can merge with the great mother it's in our womb that we merge with the great mother and we merge with source with the divine or that primordial source that that that's coming through each and every one of us and all of creation and there's a place where we can actually feel like we're in that womb right it's like where we merge where we can just let go and feel held and feel protected and feel and feel safe and that's a lot of what we've been disconnected from. You know, we've been disconnected from our own, from feminine spirituality, which, which was, you know, up to 5,000 years ago, it's what humans knew. It's what humans did. It's what humans, um, in many ways, honored, you know, the sacredness in all of creation. It was, it was what we knew. And again, it's within us. So we've just kind of like disconnected our consciousness so that we're not acknowledging it to the degree that we are, that we're not, right? Some of us may already be acknowledging many levels of our own feminine spirituality. So this is one of the, of the practices in the womb trinity this is the womb trinity activation that we work with in order to activate these different wombs within us and when we're doing this it also reflects each one of these wounds is going to reflect into the physical the hormonal you know it all affects the biochemistry in our body because it starts to create harmony, starts to create harmony. It starts to reduce the levels of, of I want to say noise <laughs> that our body's in and, and the disharmonies in our body. It starts to bring in harmony and that we can experience on all levels, physically, emotionally, and mentally, right? And of course, spiritually. So that's one of the practices or one of the ways that we work with the womb. And that's what we just did earlier with the womb. I'm going to, um, before we continue, I'm going to hold, uh, I'm going to, okay. So we're going to go a little bit into some of the other ways um, to recap that we use sound. Uh, the voice medicine can be used um, also not just to connect us to these uh, states, divine dimensions, and awaken these abilities within us, but we can also sound from the pain. We can sound from the grief. We can sound from the sadness. We can sound from the anger. We can sound from the fear and allow it to move so that it's not frozen in our body mind so that it's not, you know, frozen from the traumas, from the suffering and from all of that survival paradigm that we're, that we're coming from. Um, we also work with the sound uh, through the seven archetypes, the feminine soul powers. And those seven archetypes are part of who we are. And they're connected to each of the chakras. So we have, for example, in our root chakra, we have the, the dark mother, which is connected to our wisdom. And so awakening that in our root allows us to feel really anchored in our body. 
uh, we have the creatrix which is connected to our sacral and the creatrix is that 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 place of creativity that we've been shut down for from we have the solar plexus we have the medicine woman there and our innate ability to heal on all levels and we have the the um, primordial mother that is in our heart which is connected to that essence of love the unconditional love that we were just talking a little bit about in terms of the wombs and that is part of our heart chakra and sounding and connecting and embodying this quality is really really important for really the survival of the planet at this point we have our throat and we have the the wild woman here in our throat which is all about expressing ourselves fully with all of the all of the things we've been talking about and with our spiritual dimension and our intuitive and our magic and all of these things that are living within us expressing and feeling safe to express that and not feeling like we have to guard ourselves or be consistently screening what we say or what we do or how we express or yeah so just expressing ourselves fully and opening that more and more we have our third eye which is resides and correlates with the feminine wisdom keepers and the seer the seer within us that can see not just the physical but everything in the non-physical world and the energetic world and the different dimensions and so awakening to those levels and then we have um in our crown the ecstatic feminine which brings us great joy to connect with this aspect of us where we can feel the joy the bliss that's not connected to anything accomplishing anything on the outer right that it's all internal it's an internal an internal state of our being and this is our crown the ecstatic feminine and so that's another way that we use sound to connect and awaken these levels within us this is part of our um the seven feminine the feminine, feminine aspects of our feminine soul or feminine soul powers. Um, we also use sound organically, um, meaning just sound that is not prescribed, like, okay, sound these letters. And that's what I was doing with the medicine song, which I'm going to be doing in a few minutes again. Um, the medicine song is something that we do on this path, and it's about connecting and using... Um, sacred drum, either the frame drum, which our ancient mothers used all the time, or the native drum. The native drum is another drum that our, whoops, <laughs> that our ancient mothers used um, as well. The frame drum, we sing into the drum. And we sing organically, spontaneously, just the sounds that are coming. And those sounds are coming through you, and they're primordial sounds. They're not sounds with necessarily language. And the reason we do this is because when we use primordial sound and allow the sounding to just come through, um, it does, again, like broken record, it activates. <laughs> it activates, it integrates and purifies, right? And it's a way of really just allowing this shamanic practice of transformation to take place. And many times we can also connect with other sources and with the ancient um, medicine women and allow ourselves to channel some of that those frequencies that are coming through for ourselves for the world for the planet 
And so the medicine song is another another uh, aspect of feminine medicine that's really, really critical. Now, in the seven weeks, we're going to be covering um, all of the different foundational practices um, that I've just talked about. Uh, we're also going to be working with um, our main helping spirit and and connecting with with her and bringing her on board in our consciousness because even though she may be there we may not know that she's there and so developing a relationship with her so that we can feel supported as well as connecting and developing a relationship with our ancient ancestral mothers and the feminine wisdom keepers uh, that are here serving us as a, as guides and supporting our our walking and our journey this whole spiritual journey this evolutionary journey that we're on uh, other than working with the lunar mysteries we're going to learn some practices that we can use as a as a daily practice and also working with the universal mothers which is part of the elemental uh, the fire the water the earth the air and the ether and um, also learning and working with the uh, ritual safety how to work with the safety create the safety so that and the and the container so that we feel protected when we're working you know shamanically in these levels is is really really key and um, the womb mysteries as well some of the other womb mysteries that we'll be working with and the organic what we call the organic sounding um the sound and movement practice that is basically connecting to the sound and allowing ourselves to listen and to move whatever our body is needing for that integration and that transformation in that moment so that's all part of what we will be learning and the seven week journey so and that's going to begin in october october 30th we're going to begin with a seven week journey and these practices are is for us for us for our benefit for us to learn them to use them as our spiritual practice to have an introduction of how to uh, work with them um, so that we can come into greater harmony with our breath with our spirituality um, with our physical health with our emotional health mental and our spiritual health so let us um, I know I've talked a lot, so I want to do another practice. Let's step into another practice now, which we're going to do. We're going to activate those seven um, embodiments, the seven chakras, and we're going to do sounding into each one of them. So just give me one second. I'm going to pull up a Okay, so this is um, the different chakras. If you're not familiar with the life gates, chakra centers, this is our root, this is our sacral, kind of lower abdomen, this is our solar plexus, this is our heart center, this is our throat. 
This is our third eye, and this is our crown, really at the top of our head. So these are the different um, glands that are correlated with each one. We have the we have root glands, but that are unnamed in females, by the way. Then we have ovaries here. We have our pancreas here, and we have also adrenals, which is not on this list. So in the solar plexus, we have pancreas and adrenals. We have thymus in the heart, thyroid in the throat, hypothalamus in the third eye, pineal and pituitary. So these are some of the glands that are being regulated when we do this practice that we're going to be doing. So let's um, let's actually step in to this practice and just sit comfortably. Just sit comfortably and allow yourself to breathe. start with our root so if you want to allow yourself um, I'm gonna come back here I think it's easier allow yourself to just be present and we can just kind of bring our hands right in front of each of the gateways um, our hands also carry a lot of light and energy and we're constantly constantly transmitting energy through our hands uh, so we're going to just bring them to our root and then i'm going to walk you through each one so just breathing and feeling our root And just dropping into our root here. And as we breathe, just bringing our awareness that we're breathing into our root and just being present with our root. And as we're present with our root, we're just going to breathe and we're going to start to sound, we're going to start to sound um, the uh, which is the sound of the root that we're going to activate the root with. Uh. And as you're sounding, I want you to sound and, and then also not sound. So you're going to sound, you're going to take a break, and then you're going to go into silence. And then if you feel like sounding again, you can. So really tune in and see what, what's being needed here. All right, here we go. So let's breathe. Activated. And then taking a deep breath 
And then moving your awareness up to the sacral, which is lower abdomen, right below your belly button. And the sound here is ooh. Envisioning your sacral space, your ovaries, physically or energetically. bringing our awareness to our solar plexus and the sound here is ha Coming up to our heart, and here it's ah. breathing into our heart. And coming up to our throat. And the sound here is I. third eye this 
sound here is A. A. Deep breaths. Then bringing our awareness up to our crown. And here it's E. Just take some deep breaths. And now sound, any sound that wants to come through. I'll start and then I'm gonna be quiet so that you don't have my influence. voice medicine. Pause. 
Beautiful. And so, hmm, just feeling what's, what's shifted within you and what's moving within you, what you've noticed as you dropped into that whole process and activation. And so one of the things that we will be doing is through those seven gateways, we activate um, the universal mothers, different elements, the different breaths that correlate uh, with each one the different powers like the wisdom the medicine the love we activate those with each one these are our superpowers uh, we work with the different phases with each ones of these gateways and it's very very powerful because we can also work with the emotional aspect of each of the gateways and we can work with um the physical for physical health uh and well-being and wellness and we can w work with some of the mindset and to break down the patterns that we carry in each one because each one carries a different um a different pattern of of trauma if we may different levels of shame. And I, I do cover some of that in, in the book, which um, this is a book, Conscious Feminine, Birth of the Conscious Feminine. I know I can't. There we go. Birth of the Conscious Feminine. And in here are the sacred initiations of the feminine in which we go through, especially the lower initiations and um, break through those patterns of fear, our powerlessness of shame, and of abandonment that we're carrying in the lower three uh, chakras, if you may, or gateways as women. And so that's in the book and uh, it walks you through it, it has all the different exercises. And so we'll be working with these seven archetypes in our uh, seven week program as well. So for those that are, for those that are interested. Now the program uh, that we're talking about, the seven week today was just like a basic introduction to some of the elements that we're going to be covering and um, I'm going to show you some of the things that we will have um, in the program and then I'm going to open for any questions as well that we may have and also, if you do decide there is some other some other things that I'm adding, if uh, you decide to uh, register for this program uh, up to Monday, so it would be early registration, you would actually be receiving a PDF uh, format of the birth of the conscious feminine which you can work with as well which would give you a lot of tools to work with um, so this is a seven week program and what I wanted to show you is how the modules are going to be um, divided we're going to work start working with the feminine sovereignty and really understand how we got here why we got here and really talk about the three collective wounds that I just mentioned, which is the powerlessness, the shame and the abandonment that we've all inherited from these patriarchal wounds and also religious trauma and how to, how to work with that, how to clear that and how to use sound for that and these different shamanic practices. Um, second module will be the reclamation and the remembering and through that, we're going to 
work with the ancient ancestral mothers and and ignite those levels in the feminine wisdom keepers also talk a little bit about and understand the macro and the micro cycles and which is the astrology the seasons you know and the lunar phase um, all of those are different cycles that correlate also to our own physical uh, blood cycles for example on our menstruation or even in postmenopause and how do we connect when we're already in postmenopause to these other lunar cycles and uh, and again these are not just the concept of these understandings but then how do we have an experience of what we're talking about because that is really important to the feminine path it's about having that experience now in module three, we're going to talk about the shamanism and uh, using the voice, using working with the drum and setting our ritual space and how to work with these uh, protected ritual um, practices so that we can feel connected. And module four, we're going to continue working with the different elements of the shamanism and five we're going to work with the trinity womb embodiment and all the different practices for that uh six is the feminine soul powers that we talked about and seven we're really focusing on a new story how are we connecting how are we wanting to express ourselves after we've kind of gone through and opened up these new practices of the feminine and it's like where are we it's like an evaluation of where are we what's happening within us and what wants to be birthed through us what is it that wants to be birthed and so we have um we're going to be starting on the 30th of october where it's around here somewhere the date um anyway october 30th it's a wednesday night we're going to go for seven weeks and we have different tiers we have supported and tiers so that if you um, are in a financial difficulty you can have supported you can register as supported or you can register for the full amount to allow others that need the support to register in that way and um and then like i said uh if you register with early registration you'll have an email that speaks about this which is up to monday you also receive the uh pdf of the book birth of the conscious feminine so yeah so I know that that's a lot of information and um, we're going to end the recording now and then we'll uh, go to questions. So I want to thank everybody for listening and if this is something that you're interested in, this feminine spirituality and feminine medicine and working with the drum and working with our voice and awakening to these powerful powerful states within us then this might be something for you to do the world needs the feminine healers the world needs to awaken to the feminine and um the way that we do this is through our own personal transformation that way we can anchor this frequency and this vibration on the planet more and more so it is through our own personal transformation so again i want to thank all of you for being here thank you very much very much and many 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 blessings peace